Imagine that you are a cafe owner somewhere in Europe and the year is 1888. You borrow some money from one of your regular patrons in the hope of paying it back but without the fear of any repercussions. But the man you borrowed the money from turns out to be Vincent Van Gogh. The next thing you know, your cafe becomes destined to get terrible marketing for almost 150 years and counting. That's the worst business move ever. This was the story of the cafe owner, the cafe that you can see in this painting, made by Vincent Van Gogh in the year 1888. As you can see the man standing in the middle, he is the owner of this cafe, and this is not the best representation or angle. But let's not sugarcoat anything. As much as I love the artworks of Vincent Van Gogh, it is the ugliest painting he has ever made successfully. If you find this painting nauseating, then Van Gogh succeeded in his job. Confused, right? Well, the Night Cafe was a painting made as a revenge, but while exacting a revenge, Van Gogh also expressed something important through this painting and showed how simple colors can speak so much about the human emotions. Vincent Van Gogh was a man of colors. He never cared about the structure or the accuracy of the visual representation of the scene. He didn't care if the faces were exactly how it looked in real life. But what he really cared about is how the colors look. He wanted to capture something beautiful beyond the scene. He wanted to show that painting is a medium that we can use to show things that are actually not there. Whenever you look at a painting by Van Gogh, it is always about the fantastical use of colors. How the blues and yellows they spill over with the turbulence in his brush strokes. This is what makes his painting so amazing and so captivating. So how come a painter like Van Gogh made a painting like this, a painting that shows a place that you wouldn't even want to see in a nightmare? Why did he make this painting? We need to look at the backstory of this painting to understand what he wanted to convey. The Night Cafe should not be confused with the painting Cafe Terrace at Night, which is the polar opposite of this painting. You see, in that painting, you get a sense of comfort. Warm yellow lights fill the cold blue surrounding, filled with soft chatter of people, while the stars cover the canvas of the sky. This painting makes you want to warm it and move your eyes away from it. Van Gogh made this painting while his stay in Arles. He came to this small place with the hopes of establishing the yellow house where painters could all live together creating masterpieces. A pipe dream, many would say. But in his mind, he knew that he is going to create something like this. But he could not achieve that. Soon after moving to Arles, Van Gogh suffered from multiple episodes of depression and psychosis. He cut off his ear and a couple of years later, he died. Take a look at the painting, The Yellow House, Van Gogh's dream art hub. Look at this part of the painting. That is the exact cafe that has been portrayed in The Night Cafe. Now, Van Gogh loved the night. In one of his letters to his brother, he said, I often think that the night is more alive and more richly colored than the day. But what he did not like were the night prowlers, the people who lived in the night especially drunk and dejected in cafes like these. While painting the night cafe, Van Gogh also wrote to his brother, Today, I'm probably going to begin on the interior of the cafe, where I have a room, by gaslight in the evening. It is what they call here a cafe de nuit. They are fairly frequent here, staying open all night. Night prowlers can take refuge there when they have no money to pay for a lodging or are too drunk to be taken in. You can see a few of these unfortunate souls slouching on the table, drowned in alcohol without a care. While criticizing these night prowlers, Van Gogh himself became one. He used to stay up for three consecutive nights to paint the night cafe. But all of that effort for this, clearly it was not due to a lack of experience. He painted the starry night only a few months later. So the question that comes to mind is, why did Van Gogh make this painting ugly, deliberately? From seeing this painting, one thing is for sure, if you own a business place, you surely do not want to incur the wrath of an artist. The owner of the cafe did not think about that. The owner of the cafe had been borrowing money from Van Gogh and as a revenge, Van Gogh painted this painting. 
and the artist showed this painting in the ugliest way possible. So is that it? That's the story behind this painting? Not exactly. Van Gogh had a motive behind making this painting. This cafe was just the medium, a conduit through which Van Gogh could channel his thoughts about his love for the night and hatred for its residents. Van Gogh loved the open night, but not these cafes that were open all night. Again, referencing back to one of the letters to his brother, he said, In my picture of the night cafe, I have tried to express the idea that the cafe is a place where one can ruin oneself, go mad or commit a crime. So I have tried to express, as it were, the power of darkness in a low public house. Van Gogh wanted to show the ugly nature of the artificial light. He wanted to show the nature of indoor environment at night and the things that festers there. Now that we know why Van Gogh made this painting ugly, the question is, how did Van Gogh make this painting ugly? There are so many things in this painting that are screaming ugly. You do not have to learn color theory to notice the chaotic and uneasy placement of the two complementary colors, green and red. Green and red are complementary colors, which means they enhance each other, sort of like sweet and salty, or when you and your favorite cousin meet. That's the reason why this painting looks so garish and is punishing to the eye. The excessive use of red on the wall and the garish green on the ceiling, along with the pool table, kind of assaults your eyes. If that was not enough, the muddy yellowish brown color of the floor, painting with thick paint, makes the condition even worse. But that's not all, because Van Gogh was a man of minute details. Notice the purple stand on the left side of the painting, or the red pants the man on the right is wearing, along with the other man with the navy blue clothes. Van Gogh added these tiny clashes of complementary colors all across the painting. The window that is, again, red with green borders, the yellowish-green shadow of the pool table in the middle, and how the chair's color match with the color of the floor. All these things work together to make the painting uncomfortable. It makes your eyes feel tired, and there is no harmony at all. There is no contrast between the chair and the floor, so where you need to have contrast, there is none, while where you do not need any major contrast, you get an eye-searing one. But greens and reds are not necessarily incompatible with each other. There are so many examples in nature where green and red are in harmony. Take a look at these images and you'll notice that red and green can be very invigorating, tasteful and pleasing to the eyes. The trick is in the hue and vibrance. There's just too much of colors and they are too saturated and they're too closely placed. The colors are not the only culprit here. Apart from the obvious use of garish colors that evoke the feeling of uneasiness, Van Gogh also distorted the perspective, bending the entire structure of the cafe interior. The cafe is shown almost from the perception of a very drunk man. The field of view is exaggerated, which adds a tunneling effect to this painting with the distant portion of the painting getting narrower and narrower. Brushstrokes made in haste and without a care, almost as if the painting is a scene someone is trying to remember after a bad night of heavy drinking. But even the objects in the painting are distorted. Look at the tables and the chairs. It appears as if they are deformed or melted. And so does the cafe owner, who appears to have no legs. Where Van Gogh cannot stop expressing his love for the moon and the stars that cover the night sky, he absolutely hates the indoor light these cafes tend to have. You see, back in 1880s and 1900s, your typical cafe was not a neat and clean Instagram-worthy place where you can ask for overpriced coffee and sit in front of a laptop. Most of these cafes were dingy, dull places with poorly lit spaces. The overhead light shown in this painting is made to look this way, to show how poor they were at illuminating the place. The muddy yellow glow of the light makes the reds and greens of the room even worse. Van Gogh did not change the actual cafe's appearance in order to take his revenge. The cafe's indoor were indeed red and green, as shown in this painting. Although this painting is not focusing on the cafe's interiors, you can see that the walls are indeed red and green. But here, the painting does not look that bad because the perspective is true and balanced. This also means that Van Gogh was successful. 
The painting does not make you want to go to this cafe, especially at night. But that was not what Van Gogh really wanted. He just wanted to express what he was feeling about such somber places. The cafe was just a medium. He also used the distorted view of an indo place in the painting Bedroom in Arles where he experienced most of his breakdowns. You can almost sense the chaos in this painting. Within a few months, Van Gogh died and finally reached the stars. He often mentioned to his brother that he heard the stars calling to him. In retrospect, we can understand that it was not the indoor that affected him. It was not the cafe or the people that affected him. It was just a symptom of a disease that he did not know he had. Van Gogh was suffering from depression, and that was the reason why he felt what he felt. He saw his dreams crumble, his hopes shattered, his life became nothing, and hardly anyone cared about his art. He was broke, and he could not achieve a single thing in his life. These are the things that can break anyone, but it is commendable that Van Gogh fought, and he expressed himself. through the paintings no matter what he felt he wanted to show it through the paintings and that makes him brave when you look at this painting you feel negative emotions you feel nausea taking over maybe that is something van gogh experienced every day and every night maybe this painting is just seeing the world through his eyes